Hi, it's Linda, and I'm going to run you through some silicon cookware today by Companion. Now, this is the silicon cookware that we use. It's just come out of our camping drawer here, and you can see it all nicely stacks together. So let's run you through what we have in our setup. This here is a kettle. The first thing you'll see is that it only sits at about one and a half inches when it's compressed. And to pop it up, we just basically pull it out and that's it there. It has a stainless steel base and sides. There's some silicon in here as well. The lid is made of silicon and so is the handle. What I like about this style of kettle is that the spout and the handle on opposite sides, which means when we're pouring hot water out, I'm not gonna get any steam burns. So a great uh, size for a couple of cups of coffee, fill a thermos or something along those lines. So what else do we have? We also use a saucepan. A saucepan is one of the, the basics, I guess, of any camp setup. This one here has a folding handle and to lock it into place, because otherwise it's going to move backwards and forwards, all we do is we squeeze the handle together, pull it down a little bit and it locks it in place. And now, now that's gonna go nowhere. This also pops out as well and has stainless on the bottom, silicon on the sides and a stainless steel edge. Great size for boiling water, heating soups, uh, stews, anything like that. So that's also uh, uh, something that we, uh, we use fairly regularly in our setup. Besides a saucepan, we also use a stock pot. This one here comes with a lid. So let's take a look at the base to start with. Look how super thin that is. So, and it's also super light. So we'll just pop that one out and you can see the height of that one and the size of that one. And just like the, the saucepan, it has a stainless bottom. It's all food grade silicon and it's also got silicon on the handles as well. So that's the base and the lid itself has stainless around the outside edge and the top. It's got a silicon knob and I really like the stock pot because when I'm using it, it's got um, an area for venting any steam. So a few holes up top there as well. So that's the stock pot. That actually sits at, at about five litres. So it's a really nice size for pasta, for rice. And we also use this uh, to heat our vacuum sealed meals. Besides the stock pot, we have this guy here. This is actually quite clever. It's two pieces in one. So it's a mixing bowl on the bottom and a colander on the inside. And you can see how well they nest together. So if we take the, the colander out, you may think you won't use a colander, but you'll be surprised how um, frequently we actually use ours. We use it for pasta, we use it for, for rice, and we also use it for draining uh, veg as well. So we'll just pop that out. It's got plenty of holes in the bottom and some on the sides. Again, silicon on the sides and some nice sturdy plastic handles as well. So that's the, the colander. And then what we do is we use it with the bowl. And the bowl has also a couple of functions as well. So that's the bowl when it's collapsed. We'll just pop that one out as well. That one's got a nice sturdy plastic base. It's raised a little bit, so it's not sitting flat on the, on the bench. Silicon on the sides, some thicker plastic on the sides as well, and the handles. And when you're draining something, you can either drain it straight into the bowl, you can even drain it across, so it basically lifts the, the colander up a little bit and gives you a little bit more uh, area underneath for draining liquid. But the bowl is also handy to be used as a salad bowl, and we also use it as a mixing bowl. So dual purpose with these items as well. The other thing that we use that doesn't sit in my camping drawer, but actually under the sink, is this square tub. Uh, I really like this tub because it has multiple uses. This one here has raised uh, legs as well, so it's not sitting flat if you've got something hot in it. And to pop it out, we just push it out from both sides. And it's a great size. Look how deep that is. So that means if we are doing dishes, we only really need to use about a liter of water and uh, we can easily get the dishes done like that as well. But this tub ha also has multiple uses and that's one benefit of having a tub like this. We use it for carrying things from our camper to the campfire and back if we're going to, to have a campfire meal. And also uh, it's great for even just picking up water so you can use it as a bucket. 
Uh, we liked this so much, we ended up getting a second tub like this to have a wash in between showers when we're camping. So a really versatile piece of kit is the tub. The last thing I wanted to show you is another kettle. And you're saying, why do we take two kettles? Well, this one here is very cute. This one here is 240 volt. And it's not that we spend a lot of time in caravan parks, but when we do and we have access to power, it's a nice little unit to basically heat just a quick cuppa for two people or to fill our thermos. So it has button on the side to turn the kettle on. And when the water's boiled, it automatically cuts out the button on the top, flips the lid, and we uh, place the water inside, obviously, and it holds around 800 mils. So for two people, one or two people, uh, it's a perfect size. So that's the silicon items that we use in our camp setup. Companion make a whole heap more. Um, I guess we tried to use so many in our camp and that they all fit in the one drawer. They're all stackable and nest well together. So from a, a cooking perspective, we've got our camping needs covered with silicon. It's hard to go past silicon when you're looking at functionality and weight.